here, this is a really uh, simplistic heuristic. Basically, it's talking about the executive center, which is in the prefrontal area of the brain, just behind the forehead. It's a series of networks, really, that uh, connect throughout the brain. And then there's the emotional center, between the ears, roughly. And particularly, I'd like to call attention to the amygdala. The amygdala is one of the parts of the brain that has more connections to every other part than any other area of the brain. So the emotional circuitry, the emotional networks, and the executive centers do a dance all day long. And this has to do with emotional intelligence. The brain in prehistory didn't have a prefrontal cortex. That was like an add-on, like brain 2.1. That was, the, you know, oh, yeah, this helps. The reason it helps is we manage our emotions from there. But the amygdala is the alarm center. It's the brain's radar for threat. Right now, the amygdala of everyone in this room is asking a question it's asked through human history. And the question is, am I safe? If the answer is yes, then fine. If the answer is no, if the amygdala perceives a threat, then it has a privileged position in the brain. It can hijack the rest of the brain and drive it in a way that it thinks is essential to survival. This worked really well in the Pleistocene age. It was dynamite. Oh, there's something that's gonna eat us, we better run, and we better do it instantly. Or there's something we eat, we better run after it. We better do it quickly. However, today the amygdala is navigating a complex symbolic reality, civilization, and there are some problems. One problem is the amygdala has a very uh, special position. It has a one neuron long connection to the brain, to the ear and the eye in the brain, which means it's very quick in brain time. But how many of you remember a day when television had a, something called static? <laughs> That's what it sees. It has a fuzzy picture because most information actually goes to other parts of the brain. So the amygdala always also has a decision rule, which is I'd rather be safe than sorry. It's got a hair trigger. And the other thing is this, the fuzzy picture and the hair trigger mean it can make mistakes. There are three signs of a mistake. Of an, I'll call it an amygdala hijack. One is you have a very sudden negative emotional reaction. The second, it's very strong. I'm really angry, I'm really anxious, I'm fearful. And the third is you do something that afterwards you really regret. Like, why did I say that? Why did I do that? that that's because the amygdala falls back on overlearned reactions. In, in a split second, it does something that it sure will work, but it does not always work. Does, has anyone here ever had a big problem?